Well, hey there everyone. So this week we're gonna be sewing something again, but with a little bit of a twist. So this is the idea that I had last week, but I just didn't have time to execute the idea. So that's what this week is gonna be. So pretty much what I'm gonna be doing is I'm going to be making a corset, but I'm gonna paint some of it. Okay, so the corset is gonna be in the style of that one reversible corset that I made that was fully boned. So it's gonna be that except a lot less boning. Um, and so pretty much I had this idea where I would like paint like just like a panel of it to look like Christmassy. So I was playing around with what materials I wanted to use. So I like tried painting on some of like these. Um, I really wanted to do this red, but like, oops, but like the designs didn't show up super great. So I was gonna do the red and then I think I finally landed on the what because it just shows up the best so yeah that's the idea we're just gonna do some little christmas stuff get in the christmas mood uh, i have one more thing that i wanted to do this month but i don't know if i'm gonna have time to do it because i have a lot of things that i need to do one of the things being i am crocheting my family stockings for christmas this is my mom's this is my older sister's and then I'm currently working on my twin stocking. So I kind of have to get those done by like next week. So I'm probably gonna take next week off because I have to crochet some things, family's coming into town. So I think I'm gonna take next week off and then maybe the week after I'll still do this Christmassy idea even though it's after Christmas. It's still around the time, so we'll see. But I did buy stuff to do that project. Come on, Hennigan. Scoot on in there. Oh, oh, this is the baby. Okay. So yeah, let's just get into this corset. I am very excited for this idea. It like popped into my mind and it just gave me such Christmas vibes. I had to do it. So I'm gonna be using, like I said, white for the middle panel and then the rest of them are going to be a different material. It's like still white, but it has like kind of like an embroidered design on it and so I would have done the whole thing in that material but I tried some test painting on it and it didn't paint super well so I just wanted to do the white satin so that it painted the easiest on. So again I am going to be using that reversible corset pattern that I made uh, like ages ago for that corset and then I am going to be using the white satin for the lining as well because it's just a very sturdy satin so I wanted to make sure this was more of a structured corset and then I am going to be using interfacing for the outer layer again just for more stability and especially for the middle piece so it's like the easiest to paint. Alright so I'm going to go cut out all those materials so I'll see you in a bit. All right, now it's time for the construction of this bad boy. So it's gonna be a pretty simple construction. You're basically just putting all the pieces together. So once I have fused the interfacing to the outer fabric, I'm just gonna start sewing everything together. So everything that you see me do to the outer fabric, I'm gonna do the same exact thing to the lining. So I'm gonna see you after all that.
Now, once everything's all sewn together, you basically just put them right sides together, so all the way around. And I did use my, because I remembered when I used this pattern, I did have to take it in a bit at the back, so I took the corset that I had already made, and I laid it out on top of the, on top of the new corset, and then I just pinned where I took it in, so I didn't have to take it in later. So I've already pre-taken it in, so if you see that I am sewing like this much on the edges, that's why, because I had to take it in a bit. So yeah, you just sew it together all the way around and then you clip the edges and then turn it right sides out. Now I think a key thing to this bodice and what I should, <laughs> should be using more often is a walking foot. So I did remember that we did purchase a walking foot like months ago. And so when I started to sew the outer fabric and the lining together, you could tell that like it's just too much material and it just started like scrunching up and immediately I was like, oh no so and then I remembered that we had a walking foot so I attached to the machine thank god it was compatible with my machine and then that literally saved my project because otherwise I don't think it would have sewn together super well um but there's just there was just too much material and the interfacing was making it kind of weird but with a walking foot I saved it so I recommend purchasing a walking foot especially if you're sewing a bunch of these things so I'm gonna see you after all that All right, now it's time to do the boning and the grommets. So basically for the boning channels, I didn't go crazy like I did the other one. I just put boning on the seams. So normally I put boning on both sides of the seams, but for the front panel, I didn't want any boning there because I didn't want it to disturb the painting at all. So I put boning on the outside of it and then on the rest of the seams, I put boning on both sides. And then the back, I did boning, grommet channel, and then boning again. Then I put grommets on the top here, and then on the strap so they could tie together, and then down the back. So I'll see you after all that to describe the painting. So for the painting, I kind of had like an idea in my head of where I wanted to be on this corset. So I'm going to be using acrylic painting for this, probably not recommended, but that's what I'm doing. So I'm going to tape, I'm going to take masking tape and I'm going to tape it down so I don't get any paint on any piece of the corset that isn't the center white satin. So basically what I wanted is, like you saw in my examples, I wanted to do like pine cones and then like pine needles. So it's going to be a lot of that. So I'm going to do some pine cones with some snow. It's going to be like snow all over it. Um, I was playing around with some red, so I might do like a little poinsettia on the side. And then some little like holly leaves and then like the little red berries that you see everywhere. 
So that's kind of the elements that I wanted to put into the center panel just because it's like the most Christmassy and I think it would turn out really pretty. And then again, I'm gonna top it all with snow all over it because that just makes it look better. <laughs> then after the painting is done, then I finally put on the bias tape. I didn't wanna put it on before because I didn't want to risk getting any paint on the bias tape and I didn't feel like working around it. So I painted before the bias tape. So the last step is to put on the bias tape and then I will see you all in the final look.
guess I have to share the chair with my cat. <laughs> anyway, so I think this turned out really freaking good. I am impressed by my own painting skills. Oh, sorry, you don't like being sat on. Weird. <laughs> I am impressed by my own painting skills. Honestly, I think this turned out really good. And I showed like my sisters and my mom and they were like, whoa, that was painted. And I was like, yeah, <laughs> I was a little worried about the poinsettia when I was doing it. I was like, oh, this isn't turning out good at all. And then I like added some shading and then I added the snow. At, once I added the snow on top of everything, I think it really topped it all off. Excuse me, Miss Bayou. <laughs> I think the snow really topped it all off. Like once I added that, I was like, this is mwah, incredible. Um, the corset itself is nice and sturdy. It's well made, but I think the painting, it turned out like exactly how I wanted it in my head. So that's just turned out super good. It fits well and it's Christmassy. And I think with this skirt, especially, it just is so, it's so Christmassy. Huh? Oh, very nice. The smell? No, you, you can't hang out on me, though. <laughs> You're taking the focus off of me, so I have to put my squish in the way. Okay, anyways. So, yeah, I think all together this just turned out really, really pretty. And I am very glad that I was able to do this. I think the painting went on super easy on the satin. Um, I didn't have like any problems with that. I was a little, little nervous when I started because the paint was like not <laughs> like painting, like it would go away really quickly. And then I switched brushes and then it stayed really well. So, so I think the painting turned out really well. And then I was able to do lots of shading cause it stayed wet for a little bit so I could do that. And I just think it turned out pretty good. <laughs> And like I know there's like a big open area in the middle, but I kind of wanted to leave it like that because I just wanted the edges to have the little things popping out. I feel like if I added anything else in the middle, it might be too much. So I think I just like it the way it is. Um, I was so nervous about this poinsettia, but it turned out really good. <laughs> the pine cones, I think, are my favorite part. That's what I was practicing on. That was like the first image I had in my head was to do the little pine cones with a little snow on it. And it turned out really good. I was... <laughs> kind of nervous starting out because like I did this whole course and I was like oh if I screw up then I screw up but I didn't <laughs> so in case I don't see any of you all next week with no video I hope you all have a happy holiday I hope you are all safe and just in case just in case I don't make a video around New Year's I also wish a happy new year and especially be safe around then because it can be very dangerous a lot of people doing a lot of dangerous things so be safe promise me you will be or I'm gonna be upset. So, happy holidays, happy new year, have a good time. Not too good of a time. So, anywho to do, if you like what I did, go ahead and like, subscribe. I post most Saturdays, mostly in noon, and I'll see you in my next video. Thank you for watching.